Hi, this is Nomi Shannon, the Raw Gourmet. Um, I'm talking specifically to my group, your Raw Food Diet Live group. Um, and we're doing a series of teleseminars and ebooks, that kind of thing. Uh, it's not currently open, but if you want to find out more about it, just go to yourrawfooddietlive.com. Um, today I want to show you something that I just sort of casually pulled together one day and in talking to the group about, you know, it's not all about recipes, it's not all about a big fancy thing when you're a raw fooder, really, uh, you become a successful raw fooder when you can just walk into the kitchen and make something in a couple of minutes and eat it and be done. You know, just like, you know, cook people might go in and make a peanut butter sandwich or a, or a tuna fish sandwich, something like that. It's perfectly as easy to do it as a raw fooder. The trick is you have to have the right food in the house all the time. And the next trick is, and this is a big issue for some people, is they don't know what combinations and stuff to do. So I casually mentioned in our forum that I put this together and um, they were just all making it and saying it was wonderful. I'm like, you know, there's something to this. So this is completely equipment free food preparation and I'm calling them chops. Um, and I, I've developed a few, um, I've developed a few of these. So, um, you know, I'm going to make at least one for you now. And uh, if I have time, I'll make two. And if I don't, I'll show you in another video. So what I did on this particular day, and the funny thing is, the next day I'm like, let's see, did I use a mango, tomato, and an avocado? Or did I use a mango, tomato, and a cucumber? And I mean, that would be delicious too. So I would say two or three ingredients with a very, no noisy blender, no food processor, just a knife, a cutting board, and you. It can be your special zen moment. So you might want to zoom in um, on how I'm cutting this mango because uh, not everybody maybe knows the easiest and the best way to cut a mango. So I'm cutting almost through, but not all the way through, in little squares, right? And then, Turning it kind of inside out so that the squares are now exposed and I can cut them off. Because this is a useful thing to know how to cut up a mango quickly, efficiently, and where you get it all. Obviously, I'm not going to do it while I'm being um, videoed, but later I'm going to eat, you know, the rest of the fruit out of these just by standing over the sink and munching on them. Because these are fabulous mangoes. I got, these are called Atolfo, A-T-A-U-L-F-O mangoes. And you noticed um, how it's got kind of a little curve to it. There's a zillion different varieties of mango. These I found at um, Costco. There's six for, I don't know, maybe five dollars. They're very reasonably priced. And the, the, the thing I like about this uh, variety of mango is that it's really low fiber. You know how some mangoes, you got these huge like threads of fiber from them in your teeth and you must stop what you're doing and go brush your teeth. These don't have them. They're much less fibrous. So that's just really a good thing about a tofu. I'm probably not saying it right. I can only spell it. Mangoes. Somebody, if you want to send me the right pronunciation of a tofu, um, send it to me at nomi at rawgourmet.com. Or if you've seen this video and there's something you'd like to see me make, so tell me that too at nomi at ragomay.com. So I'm just gonna now I should have started to I should have tried to time this because the point is I'd like the prep to be under 10 minutes because this is a casual lunch and it, I, I don't want it to be a big deal. And sometimes, you know, the day I made this the first time, it was nice, it was quiet, it was, you know, a thoughtful thing to do, just sort of quietly paying attention to what, what my, the little cubes were, not just scooping it out with a spoon. It was a nice change from my daily work routine just to do this little, little thing I'm doing. So there's my mango. And here's the point also of these chops is you want to try to get the same amount, and I just kind of do it by color, uh, of each um, fruit or vegetable you're using. And today it's all fruit. You know that anything with a seed um, tomatoes have seeds, it's a fruit. Avocado has seeds. A seed, it's a fruit. So again, I'm just mindfully cutting it into cubes. I'm not going to worry about taking the seeds out. I actually think the seeds of fresh raw fruits and vegetables are good for you, and I, I'm not into the high cuisine where you remove the seeds in case people find them unpleasant, because I think there's good nourishment in them. So... And I'm not 
you know, trying to show you any kind of fancy knife skills or anything like that. This is a nice knife. One thing you do need to have is if you want to be um, uh, all or high raw is a really good knife because um, if you have a knife that won't cut through a tomato skin, you don't have a good knife or you don't have a sharp enough knife. So you see this one is doing nicely and it is, it doesn't look at them short, but it is a ceramic knife and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I have lots of knives and I'll probably show them all to you before, the, before this is over. So look at these pretty colors. Well, I love the red and the um, orange yellow of the um, mango together. So I also sometimes just make things all on the cutting board, seasoning too, and then I then I throw them into a bowl. So I'm going to put a little bit. You'd be surprised that I'm going to do this because one would normally salt the mango, but the t tomatoes are definitely important with a little bit of salt. This is nice Himalayan pink sea salt. And then I'm going to do the avocado. Now, before we started to film, all of these things were washed. I actually use a wonderful product. You can find it at my website. It's called Enviro One. Oh, I don't want to do this certain this thing. Getting the seed out is easy, but I'm not going to use my um, ceramic knife to do it. I, because I actually don't ever want to cut my hand off, I have a tendency to put my hand behind me like this when I'm doing something like this, so I don't do anything foolish. Good, strong, sturdy knife. Whack it in the middle of the seed. Twist. Usually works. Whack. Twist. Discard and put it in your compost heap. Now, I don't always cut the skin off first. It depends on what I want to do. You can actually pretty much get away with making the cross hatches and then scooping it out with a spoon. But because I want to be kind of refined in the cubes I make, because I think this dish is better when each thing is really carefully cubed. I mean, how much, of, I don't know, I haven't been timing this, but I don't think we've been talking together for more than five minutes yet, probably less. So there we go. I'm just gonna cube this artichoke, um, avocado. And there we go. And then we'll do the same to the other half. And we're probably going to have just about a third of the green, a third of the red, and a third of the yellow. And let me put the little bit of salt I want to use on the avocado. Gently stir to distribute the colors. And here's another surprise. Three vegetables are out of my three, three fruits. And now what I want to do is add a little more seasoning than just salt. And so I'm going to add, and not everybody cares to use balsamic vinegar. It's not on the good list, but I really like balsamic vinegar. I only want to use a drop because if I use too much, it'll make this look kind of murky. We don't want that. And just a little dash of cinnamon. Yes, the salt in here and cinnamon. And we're good to go. Now, it's a nice idea to set this aside for 10 to 15 minutes if you can before you eat it. And you can eat it just like this or you can place it on a lettuce leaf. Another thing I used the first day I made it and I don't have any in the house is I added some mint, cut up mint leaves, or just I tore them in. And that's it. A nice, simple, quick and easy lunch. Again, I forgot to time it, but I think it was maybe six minutes in all. And this is quite hearty because of the avocado. So I hope you enjoy making this for yourself at home. Uh, my websites are rawgourmet.com and yourrawfooddiet.com. And this is special for my Your Raw Food Diet Live group because they fell in love with this simple dish and it motivated me to make even more. Thanks a lot for watching me, and um, have a great day. This is Nomi Shannon, The Raw Gourmet.